Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another VPS Avengers tutorial. Today we're going to get started on making sequences. We just heard one sequence there at the beginning of the video. Uh, let's check out a couple more of these presets. So as you can tell, they can be quite outstanding. Seriously, this is just so dope. And the fact that all of those are put together in one instance of Avenger, so I don't even have to leave Avenger to change anything on my DAW or do anything, is really great. So it's essentially a DAW inside of a DAW. So let's go ahead and get started on how to begin making some sequences. So the first thing I'm gonna do is initialize the patch so we can get our drawing board. And the first thing I like to do when making a sequence is get some drums cooking, just so the ideas can kind of flow from those. I'm going to come down to EDM 6. And the next thing that you got to do is come into the zones and decide which keys are going to trigger those drums. And when I'm getting started with the sequence, I like it to be all of the keys. And then later on in another tutorial, we'll talk a little bit more about strategies for zoning off different parts of your track. That way you can play maybe the, the, the whole thing live and stuff like that. But right now, let's just go ahead and zone them out to everything. And the next place I like to start, especially when we're dealing with an EDM style sequence, is the sub. So I'm going to come in and just go to sine wave. And that's pretty good. That's probably a little bit better, right? The first thing we need to do is sidechain that sub, and the best way to do that, or the quickest way I've found, is to use the step sequencer, and then if you right click, it will bring up the step sequencer down here, and then if you come into the presets, there's some sidechain simulators, and I just go sidechain 2, and if I solo that, you can see that it's getting that sort of sidechain feel to it, and that's because the, this line right here is controlling the velocity of the sub over time. And the contour setting right here is essentially a smoothing control, so we can make it a lot smoother or a lot more jagged to actually follow the steps. It's a little bit rougher than if we go like this, a little bit smoother. But anyway, if we go ahead and play the drums and the bass together now, we got something cooking already. Let's go ahead and add a lead. I'm going to just add a second oscillator, come down to some samples and find an EDM saw. So we're coming into a problem. I'm using my keyboard and I'm just pressing an F. But this needs to be a lot higher transpose wise. And we can do that a couple of different ways. We can use the transpose knob here. And by the way, if you double click, it will get back to zero or its starting position. I'm gonna use an arpeggiator. So I'm gonna turn that on again, right click. And what we can do is actually Get a synth preset here. And what I'm gonna do is actually go up the keyboard and then go back to the sub and drop the sub transposition down. Let's go ahead and turn that off for a second. That sounds good. And let's turn it up. You can change the sample. And let's just go ahead and send it. Right now it's going to the out effects. Again, right click so we can see where that is. It's effects one. Right click inside here and add some reverb.
So it's already sounding better. Maybe a little bit of delay. Okay, so that's pretty great. Let's add one more oscillator up here and go into effects, no leads. And I just kind of want to stab at the beginning of each eight bars. So let's, again, come into the arpeggiator. Let's add a second arpeggiator. Let's click right here and send this third oscillator to that second arpeggiator, activate. And go ahead and turn this all off. So right now we've got we've got that happening every two bars, but we want that to happen every eight bars. So what I can do is actually come in and activate these. And then when I come in, I can actually turn these off, come here, turn those off, and then the third one, fourth one here, turn those off as well. And if we want the arpeggiator to play each of those sections, we have to hit the play button, activate that, and now it will start at A and then cycle through A, B, C, and D. Alright, so let's make this a little bit longer. So as you can see, we've already got a fairly complete track, or at least a fairly good groove going, and we haven't had to do a whole lot, and we definitely didn't have to leave Avenger to do it. Let's go ahead and send that to the effects as well. It's already getting sent to those. Great. Turn it up. And if we want to adjust our levels, we can come into the mixer. And here's the drum mixer where you can mix the drum section if we solo that. So there's actually not a lot going on in the sequence. We're going to the drum sequence. Something like that. Maybe we could add a little bit more. And there's this really cool roll down here. So now that that hit is selected, we can turn the roll on. We'll say roll three and see what that sounds like. Pretty cool. And on solo. If, let's say we want to add some variation to this pattern. We're going to activate B, but while A is selected, if you come over here, you can actually copy and then go to B and paste. And now you have that same sequence and we can make some variation here. Let's, let's just do something like this. Actually, let's go up. So one really cool thing to know while you're working with arpeggios is that if you haven't hit the play button, you'll only be working with the arpeggio that you see. So here I'm on A and I'll be editing A and anytime I trigger the sequence,
you'll see that A is just repeated. And that's a good way to work because let's say I'm working on the D section of the arpeggio. I don't want to have to wait through A, B, C, and D to get there. You just got to remember if you want the whole thing to play, you got to activate the play button. Anyway, that's where I'm going to stop this tutorial, but I'm going to do a lot more on these sequences because they can be quite involved and you can get some really great sounds. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.